Welcome. In a previous video, I set up a Raspberry Pi as a video monitor to display like an IP camera or some kind of video stream. And I'll put a link in the description to that video. I'll also put a link to my Raspberry Pi playlist where you can find some of my other videos. And I'll put a link to the hardware I'm using on Amazon. If you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about setting up a 2x2 video display on a Raspberry Pi 4. So what you've been viewing is a sample of the 2x2 matrix. I'll go on my Mac here and explain uh, how I set this up. So you'll need to check out my other video for the exact details. This is a continuation of that. But for the cameras, I'm using Amcrest cameras, and I set up these four video streams on the substream, which is the lower bandwidth stream. And these are all running at 640 by 480. And then I went and updated the bit rate to the highest level on each camera. So this is running at 2048, um, let's see, kilobits per second, I think. So I tried it with the HD stream and it didn't work. I could run one stream, but I couldn't run more than one. So it was able to run four of these 640 by 480 streams at the high bit rate. And I say high bit rate because it's relative. It's you know a small video in the first place. So here I'm logged in my Raspberry Pi using SSH. I'll type ls-l. We can see the uh, files I have here. So I have four scripts. On the previous video, I had one script called video.sh. Now I have backyard.sh, driveway.sh, frontdoor.sh and garage.sh. Let me go into the services. So here you see I have the front door, driveway, garage, and backyard set up as services. So I did what I did in the last video, but I did it for each video. Let's go back to this screen. So here are the four script files. I've just catted them, so I've displayed all of them. And on each one, I put in coordinates to display it in the upper left, the lower left, upper right, lower right. So I'll put some notes on my website on the coordinates I used. I mean, you could figure it out on your own, but it's easier if you just copy them from what I used. So something you may notice here, I have like um, 0 to 960 and 960 to 1920. I tried this where I did 0 to 960 for the first video and then 961 to 920 for the second video but there was a gap in the middle. So I found it was the best to just use the same uh, number in the middle. So I used 960 and 540. And then it got rid of that one pixel gap in the middle. I'm not completely sure why it had that gap. I could probably rack my brain a little bit and figure it out, but it doesn't really matter. Um, one pixel is not gonna make a big difference. So aside from that, it seemed to work pretty good. Um, I have four videos up. You can see the time ticking away on them. I'm showing the video again. I showed at the beginning of the video. And that's just an actual screen capture I did, a 1080p screen capture of the security camera. So you can kind of see the detail. Before I updated that bit rate, the quality was pretty low. So while this is a lower resolution stream, it has enough detail to give you an idea of what's going on. Like if you had a video of a loading dock and you want to see if the truck has arrived or something, you can tell that from the video. You don't need to be able to see every speck of dust on the truck. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.